it is officially May, and that of course means we have to talk about Nintendo Switch eShop sales because, well, I mean, there's a bunch of sales going on right now. From big third-party releases to more obscure indie games, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about that's currently on sale right now, and since you guys like these videos, we're going to talk about it. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I don't know what's going on with my eye right now, but hey, we're gonna roll with the punches. But if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. But without any further ado, let's talk about the big main Nintendo Switch eShop sale that's going on right now. Now before we get into our list of games, I do want to say that all these games are currently on sale at the time of the filming of this video, which is May 1st, so if you miss out on any of these games, well, it's kind of a you problem. You should be subscribed with notifications turned on, like it's pretty easy if you want to keep up. But let's talk about what's going on on sale right now. Now before we even get games on the list, we actually have to talk about some controllers, because you might remember the NES Online controllers that Nintendo released about two years ago or so for the NES Online service are actually on sale. Now you can get the two Two pack of these controllers for just $41.99 via Nintendo's website. I actually never picked these up because I didn't want to buy two of the NES controllers and they only came in a two pack. But at $41.99, I think that's a much easily digestible sort of price point for this. So I probably will end up picking it up. Now you do have to be a Nintendo online member in order to access this deal. But I feel like a lot of you guys are because you probably play a lot of games online. So yes, if you want to get the NES online controllers, you can get them right now for just $41.99. Speaking of $41.99. Persona 5 Strikers is on sale for $41.99. Now this is more of a departure from the traditional Persona RPG franchise. Has more of a Hyrule Warrior style feel to it in terms of the combat, but there's definitely still a lot of Persona love in this game. Now, I'm not a huge Persona fan or anything like that. I actually have not picked up this game yet, even though I am a fan of the Warrior style of gameplay. I checked out the demo. I thought it was pretty cool, but this is a game that I think a lot of people have had on their radar because Persona 5 has just become a huge franchise and a huge game in general. So to get more of the lore, to get more of the universe, and to get more of these characters that people love is definitely a very good thing. Like I said, this game is on sale for just $41.99, so you might want to check it out. Speaking of popular franchises with spin-off games, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory is on sale for just $40.19. Now, I had a lot of questions about this game being a full $60 release, but it seems like fans of the Kingdom Hearts series really enjoyed this rhythm-based game, even though it's not that traditional action RPG style that a lot of people are used to from the Kingdom Hearts series, so I figured it was worth a mention. There is a lot of story content if you are into the Kingdom Hearts universe as far as the lore is concerned. Tons of different songs from all the previous Kingdom Hearts games, including new songs. Of course, you have all of your classic Disney characters in this game as well. So if you've been on the fence about this, I think a $40 price point is a lot easier digestible than a $60 price point. So at just $40.19, you might want to check out Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Milan Wonderworld is on sale for $40.19. Don't, don't buy it. I'm, I'm sorry that I ever hyped this game up. I'm sorry that Yuji Naka lied to me. I'm sorry that I thought it was going to be my AAA nights because it's not. Don't buy it. $40.19. Still, still too expensive. Next up, while I might not have liked the Kickstarter campaign for this game, I cannot deny that it is not a great game, and that is The Wonderful 101 Remastered, which is currently on sale for just $27.19. Now, obviously, the cool appeal of The Wonderful 101 is you control up to 100 different heroes at once, and you take out these large enemies and do tasks, build weapons, build different structures to cross bridges and things like that. It's definitely a very fun game, and definitely a game that was a cult classic on the Wii U that now people on the Nintendo Switch can also experience. So at just $27.19, I think you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck with this game. It is a great game. I just wasn't a huge fan of the Kickstarter campaign that they did for it. But at $27.19, I think it's a great deal. So if you've been wanting to check out the wonderful 101 Remastered, now is definitely a good time to do it. Arguably my favorite RPG on the Nintendo Switch is currently on sale, and that is Ease 8 for just $23.99. Do you like action RPG games with great combat, a great combat system, a great combo system, an interesting world with large hulking creatures that sort of feels like Xenoblade, but I like the combat a little better. Please don't crucify me in the comments. It's just a personal preference. And awesome, awesome music that will be stuck in your head for literally years to come. Then you'll probably want to play Ease 8 on the Nintendo Switch. Of course, Ease 9 is coming out this summer 
for the Nintendo Switch as well. But honestly, I, I just love Ease 8. I love the world that it has. I love all the characters in it. I love the story in the game. Everything about this game is just top notch. And it's one of my favorite Ease games of all times. Granted, I haven't played a whole lot of Ease games or anything like that. But you know what? I'll say it's my favorite Ease game because it's the one I've definitely put the most time into. Ease 8 is available for $23.99. And if you don't own this game yet, you really, really need to change that. While you might be patiently waiting for the next Legend of Zelda game, there are a lot of Legend of Zelda clones out there. And one of the best ones, in my opinion, is Oceanhorn 2 Knights of the Realm. Oceanhorn 2 Knights of the Realm is currently on sale for $22.49. And if you like the 3D style of Zelda games, you're really going to like this game. I was absolutely blown away by how much I really enjoyed this game when I played it when it originally came out. It looks good. It plays good. The combat is fun. The story is interesting enough. The puzzles are pretty fun to solve. And it definitely has that old Legend of Zelda feel. If you're a fan of games like Ocarina of Time or Twilight Princess, you'll feel right at home with this game. Some people felt that it paid too much homage to The Legend of Zelda and that was just like sort of a copycat. And I guess I could maybe see that, but I feel like there's enough interesting and unique elements in this game to sort of separate it from other Legend of Zelda games. It's a great game no matter what, I think. And at just $22.49, it's definitely worth checking out. I paid full price for this game, which was like $30. I have no regrets and I don't don't think you'll have any regrets either if you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda. Next up, if you're looking for a fast-paced, fast-action, first-person shooter game, look no further than Bulletstorm Duke of Switch Edition for the Nintendo Switch, which is currently on sale for $11.99. Bulletstorm was a great game on the Xbox 360, a game that will probably never get anything else in the Bulletstorm franchise because that's how the modern video game industry works, but this game is absolutely fantastic. It looks great and runs great on the Nintendo Switch, and of course, it is the Duke of Switch Edition, meaning that you can play the entire game with full voice acting from John St. John. John as Duke Nukem. Now, if you were born after the year 2000, you probably have no clue who Duke Nukem is. Duke Nukem is basically a character who would be canceled in 2021 because Kotaku and Polygon would write hit pieces about him. I'm sure they already do, but it's definitely an awesome game if you're a fan of first-person shooters. Like I said, it looks great, it plays great, and at $11.99, it's definitely a good pickup. Next up is a game called Sky Rogue, which is on sale for $9.99. And if you like flight-based games, this is actually a really good one. It has a sort of 80s, 90s arcade feel to it, and maybe even that same sort of aesthetic to it. But I really like this game because I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The colors really pop. The textures that they used are very interesting and unique. And the game runs at 60 frames per second when you're playing it. Another real big addition to this game are the controls. You can do motion controls, which actually work really well once you get the hold of them and sort of understand how they work and it's just a really fun game it has really good music in it as well if you're a fan of dog fighting games or space games in general i think sky rogue is one of the most underrated games on the nintendo switch that nobody ever talks about so it's just 9.99 it's definitely worth checking out and it's sort of my hidden gem for this video of course, May the 4th is coming up, and Star Wars fans are very excited for that, and Star Wars games are on sale on the Nintendo Switch right now, and the one I recommend the most is Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy for just $9.99. Now, yes, Jedi Academy 2 is also on the Nintendo Switch. Spawn Wave made me buy that game when it first came out, and you know what? I did not like it, but this game is a better game in my opinion. It's definitely much more enjoyable. It also has an online aspect to it as well, but just the story of the game and just the actual game gameplay of the game is definitely a lot better than its sequel, at least in my opinion. I'm sure there will be people in the comments who disagree with me on this. If you're a Star Wars fan, you probably already own this game, but just in case you don't, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy is on sale for $9.99. Are you a fan of controversy? I mean, if you're subscribed to my channel, you probably like a little bit of it, but our final three games are all controversial for different reasons. Two of them for the same reason, and one of them for you're gonna be like, why are you recommending this game to people? You suck and I hate you, but it's a good game and I don't care what anyone says. The first game we're gonna talk about is Postal Redux. Redo, I don't know how people say it, but it is available for $5.99. You remember that game that called Hatred that came out and everyone was crucifying of it because it was basically a murder simulator? Well, before hatred there was a game called postal and yeah you pretty much just kill people and it's a top-down perspective thing like it's definitely a game that has aged terribly in terms of the actual content in the game and as far as you know real world situations but when this game came out in the 90s it was one of the most controversial pc games and it was that game that had that lore to it and i think it's still a fun game if you're a well-adjusted individual who just plays video games to just play video games and you like games and just don't care about you know you're not using this as a 
murder simulator because you have some weird whacked out fetish in your head, then Postal Redo is a fun game. It's a throwback game. There's a lot of different filters. There's a lot of different maps that you can use in the game as well. And it's definitely a throwback to a time where people just made video games and didn't really care about the social justice recoil of them. It is available for $5.99 and you might want to check it out. Duke Nukem is back on my list because I like Duke Nukem. What are you going to do? You're going to sue me? You're going to write about me on Polygon? I don't care. I think Duke Nukem is a fun character. It's over the top. It's supposed to be over the top. But Duke Nukem 20th Anniversary World Tour is on sale on the Nintendo Switch for just $3.99. Now, this game features all the content from Duke Nukem 3D that you grew up playing, maybe if you're old like me. And, of course, it has all that witty humor and strippers and things like that. I mean, it's an over-the-top game. What are you going to do about it? But it does have an additional story pack as well in the game with all new levels that were exclusive to the 20th anniversary world tour. John St. John reprises his role as Duke Nukem in the game with all new voice acting. The game features online play as well, which I haven't played it in a while. It's probably dead, but still, you can do local multiplayer. It's just a fun first person shooter game, much like Postal Redo, a game that you're not supposed to take seriously, but everyone in the world likes to take video games so seriously nowadays. But I definitely recommend it if you're looking for an old school first person shooter at just $3.99. And the final game is going to be controversial because when this game came out, a lot of people did not like it, and I understand why. But you have to think about my mentality when it comes with this game. And this game is Double Dragon 4. Double Dragon 4 is available for $3.50. And when this game came out, people absolutely lambasted it. But to me, Double Dragon 4 is exactly what I wanted from a sequel to Double Dragon 3. Double Dragon 3 on the NES was not a great game. And it sort of depends on how you grew up playing Double Dragon. A lot of people played Double Dragon in the arcades i never knew that double dragon was an arcade game until i was older when i was a kid i remember going over to my buddy joe's house and joe was like yo you ever played Double Dragon? And I was like, no. And he was like, oh, we got to play Double Dragon. He had it on the NES. So I grew up playing Double Dragon on the NES. So the visual style, the musical style, and the characters that were in Double Dragon, the franchise on the NES, are what I grew up playing. And because of that, I feel like Double Dragon 4 is a very solid game. It plays a lot like the NES games with some additional refinements. There's additional end game content as well that you can unlock. You can unlock a bunch of different characters in the game. I really enjoy this game. I wish this game would get a physical release because i would definitely buy it for like 30 or 40 dollars that's how much i enjoy the game but a lot of it is tied into nostalgia and you know i can understand that but if you are a fan of the double dragon games on the nes i highly recommend checking out double dragon 4 on the nintendo switch and it's only three dollars and fifty cents so it's not gonna break your bank all right, so those are some Nintendo Switch games that are currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch eShop as of May 1st. Let me know in the comments section down below if you plan on picking up any of these games. And if not, I mean, that's cool. Thanks for watching the video anyways. And as always, folks, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, share the video if you enjoyed it, like it, turn on notifications, all that YouTube crap. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.